from a dainty Japanese tea house perched in a grove of cherry trees to an elegant modernist cabin in Belgium, today's tree houses are a world away from the father fabricated efforts of childhood. No surprise then, that the new breed of treehouse has proven even more popular with adults than with children as Architectural Digest revealed when it unveiled the world's best treehouses. So cool are the new breed of treehouse, they've even merited their own design book, Treehouses. Fairy Tale Castles in the Air by Philip Joe Dido 44 pounds and 99 pennies, Tashin. Included in both is the Honey Sphere, owned by Doors guitarist Robbie Krieger. After being exhibited at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, the red wooden steel latticed sphere was installed at Krieger's Beverly Hills home, where he apparently uses it to sit back, relax and write music. More traditional is the red cedar sweet blue at La Piantata Bed and Breakfast in Lazio, Italy, which was made by French specialists, La Cabane Perky and installed atop a centuries-old oak tree. Another, the lake tree house in the town of Arras in Brazil sits at the edge of a spectacular lake and boasts two floors and a separate children's retreat. Designed by Casa Navor, the two-bedroom home was constructed from local timber and built around an Australian eucalyptus tree. Elsewhere, there's the Tree Hotel near Lula, northern Sweden, which boasts not one but seven extraordinary tree houses. The best known is the Myrola Cube, designed by architect Stam and Vitek D., and complete with a roof terrace and an interior packed with furniture by Finnish architect Alva Alto. Another super specimen is the blue cone, where the scarlet tiled exterior conceals slick Swedish design within. There's even a UFO-inspired design created by architect Bernal HRSTR which bears a close resemblance to a flying saucer and looks completely unearthly in its pretty forest surrounding.